Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I am going to go over Tradevate, how to use it, do some uh, trades, and show you how to use bracket orders, how to add charts, and depth of market, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and start off with adding a chart to your interface. It's very simple very easy to do this is a great platform to learn how to use if you're not familiar with uh, any of these platforms this would be a great one to start all right pretty much uh drag and drop you just come over here to the modules tab and you get to pick uh whatever you like so here's all the stuff uh that i use chart dom and performance center i don't really use uh orders through this or tick stream or options chain or um, act, sometimes I'll check my activity log but all the stuff I need is just right here and you can have your template set up uh, save it and all that so I have different templates um, so oh all right here we go all right so let's grab a chart I am gonna just drop it wherever I want. You can just move it around, drag and drop. Pretty simple. Horizontal or vertical. All right, let's say I want to add it here, okay? And this is how I got mine set up. I got my five minute, my ES five minute, my NASDAQ daily, uh, NASDAQ one hour, and the NASDAQ tick chart. I like to see all the time frames uh, from top to bottom. Let's say I want to add another one. We're just going to do it for the sake of uh, demonstration. All right, I want to put, uh, let's put NQ, right? Boom, NQ. Okay. And if you want to make this particular chart full screen, you can come right here to the full size and it will zoom in. This is five minute. And this is the replay, by the way. This is uh, me doing some back testing today, thinking, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and do a video and demonstrate how to use Tradevate. So I'm going to do a little practicing on uh, the replay while showing you guys how to use Tradevate. Let's uh, come over here to the, the pause button. And it's turned on at 100%. I'm going to hit play. And we're going to do some uh, bracket orders. All right, so, all right, the market has just opened. I got it set to 8.30, right when the open, that's when I start trading. All right, if you want to get in and out of the market real quick, you can do that here. You got market orders, you got bid and ask, and um, you can hit exit. This will exit all your orders and cancel all your pending orders. I use this often. And if you want to create a bracket order, you can come over here. And I have many different bracket orders. Uh, let's create a new one for fun. All right, bracket order. Let's create a new one. Uh, TP plus SL. That is take profit plus stop loss, obviously. And I have it in the form of ticks. If I want it in delta price, I can come down here. And if I want it on value, dollar value, I can do that here. All right. Let's do uh, tick value. All right, so every uh, 40 ticks in the NASDAQ is 10 points. Okay, so let's put, for the stream's sake, we're going to uh, we're gonna put this one at uh, 120 ticks. So that would be 30 points. All right, stop loss, let's put it at... Um, Let's put it at, uh, let's put it at 80. Okay, so that's 20 points. All right. Let's say you want to add a runner to your order. Okay, let's say you want one runner, I mean one quick take profit and one runner. And you can do that by hitting the plus button, target one, target two. Uh, let's say you want the runner uh, take profit to be, instead of 120, you want it to be um let's put it at uh 180 okay all right it's at 180 just a little bit further down we'll do the same stop loss or we can make one a little bit longer let's make one just a little bit longer i'm gonna put it at 100 and you want break even 
on both of these. And that will bring your stop loss to break even immediately. Just to, because you don't want your winning trade to turn into a loser, but you want to give a little bit of room. Let's put it at 60 ticks, okay? Which is uh, 15 points, okay? You can bring that to a little bit of profit if you want to. You want to put it, bring it in just to cover the commissions and put it at five. Or you can put one a little bit closer to lock in some profit just to make sure and leave one a little bit closer to the break even. Give it wiggle room. Not saying I do any of this stuff. I'm just doing it for the stream's sake, but you could mess with it and uh, back test it and do it however you like. I do that often. And let's call this, we're going to name this uh, bracket order. Let's call this, um, I don't know, 1 plus 1 runner. All right. 1 quick take profit plus 1 runner. All right, let's go ahead and mess with it. All right, we're going to do this. All right, it looks like the market is about to dump. Right, we're, we're just wanting to get in real quick. You put it at 2 because that's what you're... Uh, I'm going to jump in right here, and you want to do a little back testing, and you want to speed it up. You want to sit here and watch it in normal slow market time, even though the NASDAQ is pretty fast. Boom! We're putting it at 400%. We'll slow it down. We'll put it at 280%. Okay. All right, so we're in the market. We're two NASDAQ minis. Boom! We are going against us. We got our protective uh, stop losses in place. Did I actually put it in place? No, I did not. All right. Let's put our stop loss. <laughs> you got to make sure you're doing what you're planning on doing. Okay. I just made 500 bucks on the uh, on that, though. So that was kind of nice for a little back testing purposes. All right. We got our break even stop losses in the bracket order. Going to put us in uh, a safe position once the... Uh, uh, profit trigger has been uh, triggered at 15 points. So once it goes 15 points, these break-even stop losses will be immediately moved into to a safe position where we are not allowing a winner turn into a loser. You can also move your stop losses and take profits around like this. You wanted to give a little bit more room. Say you want to move it back a little bit. Do that. It's very nice. As you can see, boom, that was quickly moved into uh, the break even area. Might get triggered out. We'll see. And it did. Other one, I think I had the trigger at up oh, because I was moving it. This is a good example. If you're moving it while it's supposed to trigger, then it will probably uh, take it off or not uh, move it into break even and i think that's what happened let's say we don't like this trade we want to get out let's do it again all right let's go in we're gonna boom we're we're shorting the market here let's see the break even and bracket orders do their their work i'm not going to mess with it this time okay let's speed it up a bit We want to move our profit down here a little bit. All right. Profit triggers were uh, activated and we are in break even on both of our stop losses. And we're just going to let the trade play out. Doing this all on the market replay. I have it at $2,100 uh, equity because that's what my stop losses are on my funded accounts. And you see you have your, your break even too tight and the market is volatile. And you can just be taken out for small gains. But that does eliminate winners turning into losers. So that's the beauty. You, know, you got your... Uh, we're jumping back in. Let's see. It looks like it's going to just keep dumping here. 
Perfect time to jump back in. All right, we're activated. All right, we're taken back out. You can get right back in again. That's one reason why it's better to have your uh, break-even offsets a little bit uh, further down. So maybe act instead of activating at 15, you activate it at 30. Give it some more uh, room to breathe. Here we go. Will our take profits be hit? All right. First take profits hit. And we can move this down. We can let the runner go even further. You can also trail it like this. Lock in those gains. And just, there you go. So that's an example of some bracket orders and how to uh, do all that stuff. You can mess around with it. Um, let's go ahead and show you some indicators. Okay, you can come on here. Uh, I got the exponential uh, moving moving average uh, 20 period and then the 200. So the blue is 20 and the longer trend uh, EMA is 200. Okay, and let's go ahead and um, fill orders. You could come here, show fills. Here's where my entries were and exits. You can put it as short order lines. How far you let your your stuff go? Uh, where's that? Show trade lines. All right, so you entered here. It ran all the way down here. You took your profit here. Yada yada yada. Very uh easy to see easy to use all right you want to draw some trend lines come over here got your little trend line thing going and you just want to you push you tap it because if you tap and hold it starts dragging it around uh so you draw a trend line you know you can also come to the edge of the trend line and move it around um you can do volume profile come over here volume profile all right Come like this. You cover the the time frames that you want to do volume profile, and then you click it, ah, double tap it. Boom! You got your histogram, and you got your point of control, the POC. All right. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, show you how to to get your moving averages right here. Got your exponential, whole, simple, triangular, all that stuff. Um. Okay, you come over here. You could put on some oscillators, Bollinger bands, um, volatility base. I like the one green candle. It's the whole no diddle. It's the average true range. And you add this. Gives you the scalping range. Okay, this would be extreme uh, potential scalps on the sell side and then on the buy side. And in the middle, you try to avoid the um messing around on trades in the middle if you're scalping and it changes the colors from green when there's an extreme move down relative to where you are in the markets and when you're going up it would be red see it's kind of backwards but uh i like it i use it sometimes um uh, sometimes i don't i mainly a price action trader and i don't really always use the indicators but Sometimes I do. All right, so that's how you use indicators. Uh, if you want to close it, make sure all your positions are closed down. You can come here, exit all. No matter what instrument you've been trading, it will close out everything. Boom. Close that out. I said I had no positions open, so. All right, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, here's the performance center. You can come over here, pop that up. It will give you a breakdown of everything that you have done, all your trades, profit, losing, give you the, uh, you know, the graph of winning and losing. I've only taken winning. And obviously it's just back testing. I already knew what those moves were going to do. I took those trades on Tuesday. I made the exact same uh, trades on Tuesday and I, and I had a nice winning day that day. Uh, Relative to my account size, what I'm trading with uh, on the stream, that's I was using my um, Elite Trader funding, and I have uh, I had I think I had a bad day Monday, but I got all my money back, and I had a really good day Friday, so I'm back in the green on that account. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I do on my channel. I do streams, I get funded and do reviews and all that stuff. Help out people with their trading futures and passing prop firms and uh, making a living from it. If you choose to go that route, like what I do, that's what I do for a living. All right, so you come right back out of this after you you know hit it on full screen. You just tap this. Uh, look at that big dump. Um, nice uh, dumpage on Tuesday. I'm glad I caught that move. All right, so I got all my charts up here, all the different time frames from top to the bottom. Um, this is pretty much how you use Trade of Eight. Very simple stuff. Very user friendly. Very easy. Drag and drop your charts and your DOMs. Let's say I want to add a DOM. Let's go ahead and do that. You just, oops, you got to hold it down. Okay, come over here. Say I want to put a DOM. No, not there. All right, sometimes it's a little bit finicky. All right, let's bring it over. Come on. There you go. I want my DOM, all right? Okay. You can, let's show you how to use the DOM. You can add uh, settings. You can add, if you want P&L to show in your, uh, on every tick, show estimated. I like to have all that stuff. Let's take some uh, fictitious trades here. We think it's gonna uh, keep dumping, so we're just gonna add. It shows you. Uh, all right. You don't really want to be marketing them when it's that volatile, especially when it's jumping around. The DOM will show you. But I'm in profit because the market's falling. And here, as you can see, it shows you what the profit is per tick, up and down by going on the settings and doing what I just did, you can add your um, bracket orders. So like I had one plus, one plus runner, how I added it from that chart, you can find it on this chart over here or on the DOM or wherever. All right, let's get out of this trade. It's looking like it's a, a potential bounce area. You just come over here, you can close it. Uh, you can hit do it that way. Um, you can also, uh, let's close this one out because it's a stupid trade. All right, where's the price at? I want to show you some stuff. All right, let's say you don't want to use the bracket order and you want to do it manually. I'm going to show you how to do that on the DOM. Okay, we're going to, oh, I shorted the breakout here. All right, let's say you want to quickly throw your, uh, stop loss into, um, into profit once your trade is in profit. You'd hit right click. And then you could trail it if it gives me room to show you that. All right. Give it a second. Oh, all right. Right click and then you can drag and drop it down to trail it as well. Let's go long here. Let's see if it'll jump up and I can drag and drop. All right, not a very good potential area to go long. That's why you do back testing. Um, market is still free falling. Okay. All right, you, you could chase the price by coming down here on the right side and you'd move it up and down. Okay, and we're, now we're bouncing, okay. All right, let's try to, it's moving so fast I can't catch catch up with it. That's why I don't really like trading on the DOM. I like to use the charts. All right, you're entered in. Boom, you're entered in. Let's show you how to manually add stop losses. All right, right click. And if you want to just take your profit real quick, you do left click. So you set it for limit order and it should, this trade does not want to go back down. All right, if you want to do stop loss you would put uh right click no it'd be it'd be uh i hit left click you'd be right click to put a stop loss all right let's do that again come over here if you're using your mouse i'm using the mouse pad you could just do the little roller and it will quickly get to where price is all right come back here 
All right, let's. I want to put my stop loss in and show you how to do that manually. You just do right click. There, stop loss manually. And then you could trail it from the chart after entering it on the DOM. And it's pretty fast. That's how I like to do it. I'll enter it on the DOM and then I come over to the chart and then I'll trail it over here. So like this. All right, come over, trail it down. See it falling. You want to, you know, lock it in. That's how I just did that. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I think I showed you everything that I like to use on uh, Trade of Eight. Um, you got your settings over here. Uh, equity. This is the replay account. I'm going to take this off because I don't want my charts all messed up. You can save your template. Oh, here's how you do alerts. Be a little bell. You can set your alert. It'll make a little bell no, uh, noise. Um, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll make some more videos. If you have any requests or questions, leave them down below. Uh, Y'all have a good rest of your weekend. Bye.